and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for best of one day Monday. We got six best of one decks on the docket. We'll see if we get to all of them. Um, I'm going to be playing just seven games of best of one with each deck. So usually that goes pretty fast and that's why I have some extra decks on the docket today. But we're going to start with mono white formation, a deck that I really enjoyed playing last format. And I haven't really updated too much. Basically, the main card that's new in here that <clears throat> I wanted to play that I haven't uh, played at all yet is Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. I do like this card quite a bit. I think it's a pretty strong card. Uh, and so we had the, um, I don't remember the name of the card now, the, the three mana, like, I think fairy, no, spirit, three mana spirit that brought along another spirit with it. Um, that was in this slot before, but um, I'm going to be playing some some Elspeths instead. And because we're playing Elspeth and that brings the curve up to four, I'm adding an, an additional land. I only had 19 lands in this deck before, so we're going to go up to 20 lands. Hanged Executioner, there we go. So I had four Hanged Executioners, so instead we're going to go three Elspeths and an extra land. And then I had a Rally of Wings that you probably remember, but with getting rid of the Hanged Executioner, I'm going to take out the Rally of Wings and play a Tomeek in the two mana slot. Um, I do have a sideboard over here. If you want to play the deck in best of three, remember Hushbringer does not work very well with Luxodon. So like maybe you, you take out Luxodon if you're bringing Hushbringer maybe. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so there's a sideboard over there, but we're just gonna be playing a best of one and trying to run over the opponent with these 24 one drops and then uh, use Unbreakable Formation, Venerate Luxodon to Anthem our team. And Elspeth that can make a lot more tokens, help us go wide, and also pump up some creatures. So yeah, let's give it a try. So like I said, we're going to play seven games in ranked. We're just going to be playing it, uh, all these in ranked. Uh, so standard, ranked, best of one. We got some different decks today that we're going to be trying out. Best of one's a little bit more of the wild, wild west than best of three. You can, I think you can kind of get away with playing some weirder stuff in best of one. So let's see how we do. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Heraldic Banner, honestly. Um, yeah, I just like Unbreakable Formation a whole lot more. I think it's just a lot better of a card. The, the main th thing that I would like about Heraldic Banner is it does pair kind of well with Elspeth. It gets you that fourth mana to, to play Elspeth if, if you're struggling with the lands. And then it does work with uh, make, having Elspeth make two ones instead of one ones. But um, So I could see playing like one instead of the Tamik. I could see that being a Heraldic Banner also. But I want the Tamik instead. I mean, that's also, I guess, because of the, the Demir Kraken deck that I played a lot, Storm, that that's why I said, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I never struggled against Annex at all. It it helped me. I feel like it was helping me win some games. Because they would have like a, a three mana, you know, two, three that didn't have haste or anything and gave me time to just kill it. Hmm. Stone Coil Serpent for two. I'll wait. I, of course, want to wait with the Giant Killer. We want to actually kill a Giant. Uh, the uh, Annex Hardened in the Forge, I think. Is the name of the card? I got this. Well, it's unfortunate. Their hand is is perfect. They got fires of invention. A lot easier to win when they don't have Fires of Invention, but when they do have Fires of Invention, it's pretty difficult.
Together, we can exact justice. I don't know why they didn't draw the card during their turn and then see if they hit like a creature another creature like that to play but Yeah, they had a perfect hand. Like they had everything. No, I did not have fun that match. Liars of Invention is not a fun card. <laughs> that was not fun. All right, this is a little bit more of what our deck's trying to do with a bunch more one drops. Let's see. Let's see if we can get there with our Vener venerate Luxodon helping us out. Um, I guess all I'm doing is that. Which is Grateful Apparition should be a two of. I don't know what that card does. No, it costs two mana? Nope. Small land. Yay. All right, they're like <clears throat> blocking out. need to do to stay alive and I don't really know what they do to stay alive from here don't think that's it okay win fast lose fast 
Either way, play fast. And we're one and one. <laughs> yep. That's what our deck's supposed to do. Just play a whole bunch of one drops, lux it on them, and then unbreakable formation. And that that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Last game the opponent had everything, now we had everything. Welcome to best of one. Yep. Where you win about 50% of the time, half the time. And the other half of the time, you win like 50% of the time. No blocks. Hey, Shabby. Do I trade one token for a Fervent Champion? Is the question. And the answer is no. Of course, I could have double blocked the Fervent Champion and then one would die, but the other would kill the Fervent Champion. Every time I watch in queue for a best of one match, I'm reminded of the Monty Python line. On second thought, let's not go there. It is a silly place. The tragedy of my death. So we can pump up five of these things. I think I just attack with the 3-3 three, three and pump up the others. Alright, double Fervent Champion, that's two First Strike blockers. That was definitely a really good hand on their part. Yep. Now time for us to draw Unbreakable Formation. Because, yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised they could keep up with the double Luxodon. If I would have just done the minus one on Elspeth and attacked with everything and not played the Luxodon, it, so I would not have had these two twos or that Luxodon in play, we would have dealt an extra 10 damage.
But then, you know, when I had those two twos or the Luxon in play, and it would have made their turn pretty good. That was not a very good draw. Because even just drawing a land would get us to, like, another Elspeth. Towards that healer sock, not the best. All right, that thing has reach. Wow, then Frenzy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Unbreakable formation. Maybe it's just worth attacking with the Healer's Hawk anyway. Even though they can eat it with the Robber. I don't know. I guess I could count it out. If they if they would block the Healer's Hawk, then like what's their best block besides that? It's not great. I guess, let's see, Elspeth needs four cards in the graveyard. Perf that's the perfect number of cards. I have four in the graveyard. Ah. Just hit another land. Ugh. Get another creature with reach again. It's unfortunate. All right, if I attack out, how can they stay alive? They can't, unless they can play their top card, which is not likely. So they can have three, three things block these, and then a fourth thing block this, but they still take one from the Serpent, one from the Hawk. I think that was a an opponent didn't realize that they were at two. Unless they have, you know, like if they have shock on top. Yep, looks like they have shock on top. Nope. Guess not. Two and one. Yeah, maybe maybe they didn't realize the trample. I don't know. All right, back on the play. Four one drops in a Luxodon. So one drop, double one drop. One drop Luxodon. We are... Um... If 
I think this is the opponent that we lost to. I think this is the same same player. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks, Pataro. No, I'm not playing around Clarion. It's not really what you do in best of one. You just slam and and just hope they're dead. Hope no Clarion. Darn, I'm dead. That's just how it is. Add it all again. Rex, what are you doing? <laughs> Storm, you're a mod. You can do that. But I can do that too. I think that Rex hit the wrong button. That's what I'm guessing. A little bit slower. But can be really powerful. Let's tr let's give it a try. Um, I think I want to make him play. <laughs> yeah, the, the pocket band. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I figured happened. So we, we've lost every game that my opponent has played Clarion. Maybe we'll win this one. But I think we found our, our real nemesis. Elspeth Clarion's nemesis. But it looks like they have Clarion and Fires of Invention every game. Just always get Clarion and Fires every game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Whenever we switch decks, we won't play against Fires or Clarion once. It's true. Come on. Seriously?
my next deck good against <laughs> Fire's Invention? No. Yeah, looks. I guess everything else is going okay. I guess. Stop having fires. Four times playing against this deck, all four games turn turn four fires every single time. I've killed one god already. Not sure if I want a minus minus one or minus two. No, I have a mercenary. I think Kenrith just wins this. And just gets the game line. Bonecrusher Giant, of course, kills La Rune Enforcer. They can even just play Fae of Wishes. <clears throat> it's over. All right, well, we'll play one more. All four losses were the exact same. Can't handle turn four fires with sweepers. And then a bunch of Kenriths. That's just what we're just going to lose to that. Raise the alarm is a nice uh, 
draw to help out Luxodon. <clears throat> well, at least it wasn't a sweeper. The tragedy of my death was on this point. I will do my best to support you. No sweeper. At least they damn shattered the sky for the turn four. Hopefully, still no sweeper. No sweeper. All right. So I guess we figured out... We figured out exactly how the games go. If your opponent plays turn four fires of invention and has a sweeper, and then Kenrith, you lose. That happened four times. And if they don't have those cards, you win. That happened three times. Um, obviously, Unbreakable Formation is like our anti-sweeper card. We never had it available to to play. Really, which is not like that. That was never never really an option. But Fires of Invention, it, you know, if they have that card, it makes their deck just so much better. It does, and they had that card every single time. Um, I think that I think we'd probably do like okay against fires, like Jeskai fires if they don't have fires of invention. Not not saying that we would it would be like a a good matchup. That's that's definitely our worst matchup. But if they don't have fires of invention, you know, like we have a real shot. But when they have fires of invention plus they have sweepers, and then also you know like the big creatures, like when they have everything, we're gonna lose, and that just happened four times. All right, but there we go. So that's Model White Formation. Still a fun deck to play. It's, it's a, you know, real fast deck. Um, you know, you just throw everything down. It's not too difficult to play. You just, you know, kind of throw everything down and just see how it goes. Uh, I, li I liked Elspeth. Elspeth looked pretty good. Um, that minus one looked pretty good. You know, Elspeth looked just fine. I, th I think it's better than um, that other card that we replaced it with. I already forgot the name of again. Um but y'all know what I'm talking about, the, the spirit. All right, so that's our first best of one deck for today. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. And uh, if you're playing Mono White Formation yourself, let me know how it's going for you over there. Hanged Executioner, that card right there. Uh, but thank you so much for, for watching, and I will see you for the next video.